Okay, I'm here with Minority Leader Tom Soddy. Um, I just want to talk to you a little, we didn't get a chance to talk after the meeting at the Broadview Middle School. Just give me a recap, because you're the person who organized the event. Give me a recap on the, the situation with BRT and the neighbors and why you got this whole meeting together in the first place. Well, to put a five or six or seven year um, uh, issue in about 30 seconds or a minute. Yeah. Basically, after several BRT proposals were denied, I believe, by the Planning Commission and appeals um, filed by BRT were lost, a new application came in um, that was within the current regulations. And so BRT started building this project known as Jeffrey Court up on Hospital Ave. There's two big concerns there. One is a deed restriction issue, where a lot of the deeds up there were supposed to be restricted to one family housing. And another issue really was the blasting as well as the clear cutting up there. And then finally some issues of traffic concerns that were raised in the previous applications. So what actually came about was that neighbors reached out to me uh, to put together a neighborhood meeting. Uh, council members uh, that I spoke to about it wanted to come and, and, and hear people from the third ward, people from council leadership, people from both Democrat and Republican caucuses, as well as the mayor and Mr. Bertram were there. It was an informational session really to educate the residents and to answer as many questions as possible. Now while some residents were very disappointed that it wasn't something, a project that we could stop, several people were very appreciative that they got an explanation as to how these things came about, but also information as to how to prevent this from happening again. Now, I think also uh, Mr. Bertram put out there, and we're glad he did that, is a phone number for people to call if their homes were in any way damaged. Uh, the big issue here is that BRT said they hadn't received any complaints. Well, people need to file complaints and contact them if they have these concerns and problems, especially if you had damage on your home. So hopefully, and also the final issue, I think, is the build out, which means what the project is going to be at the end. And Mr. Bertram stated there at the neighborhood meeting that he'd be willing to take input from residents about the final build out, trees, plantings, landscaping. So we really encourage people, get in touch with BRT, email them, call them, send letters, and hopefully they'll listen to as much of the input from the residents as possible. But these are things that should go on in neighborhoods all across the city, people being educated about zoning issues, planning issues, knowing what zones they're in, and, and, and getting planning and zoning and EIC agendas and going to those meetings. It seems like it's your, your, your new niche right now because I know uh, a couple of years ago you were instrumental in getting the neighbors together with the Putnam. Uh, Putnam people in terms of the transfer station. So you, you, you seem to be pretty involved when it comes to like, you know, being a mediator between developers and the residents. Well, you know, I think one of the biggest problems that happens in government is that people feel they don't have the information. When they get the information, it alleviates some of their concerns, but it also provides them with an opportunity to object to something. The worst thing in government and in public policy is having something pass or happen when the public could have spoken on it and didn't because they didn't know about it and they didn't know how to find out about it. So I've really tried to help neighborhoods organize, come to meetings, and realize that they can be part of the process. Go on the city website, register to get the agendas, go to the planning and zoning meetings, go to the wetland, the EIC meetings, be part of the process, and you can have an impact. People say you can't fight City Hall. It's not really about fighting City Hall. It's about making your uh, concerns known and elected and appointed officials in that chamber responding to them. And they will. If you do it in an organized fashion, speak to the law, 